is Dr. David Albert from the Digital Health Summit at CES 2019. And I am thrilled to be joined by Glenna Crooks, uh, Dr. Glenna Crooks. And she's going to tell us about some a real innovation that's coming to healthcare in the United States that I think will both improve patient outcomes and also lower costs. Glenna, welcome. And tell me about this innovation. You know, it's the most studied healthcare delivery um, innovation of its time, and it's not really, really new, except that a lot of people don't know about it. For well over 15 years, a number of people have been studying the process of providing hospital-level care in homes. So a real alternative to being in a hospital, which uh, does more than reduce cost. It improves the quality of life of the patient, and certainly for the family, and it also improves satisfaction among clinicians as well. This was um, initially begun by Dr. Bruce Leff, it has continued since then, and an additionally exciting announcement that was made yesterday is that uh, one of the hospital at home groups, and the one that's probably the better known, um, Medically Home, is going to be partnering with Stand Up to Cancer and Mass General, and now conducting clinical trials within patients' homes as well. So everything from receiving chemotherapy to to any of the other kinds of physical therapy, things that are done on an inpatient basis today, outside of the ICU, they're gonna be getting at home. That's right, and from the, uh, the both care of the patient perspective, but also from the clinical trial perspective, they do 24-7 monitoring of patients, and patients have 24-7 access to clinicians. So um, as side effects emerge, for example, we'll, um, the clinicians will be able to intervene and perhaps mitigate against those. As changes need to be made in order to provide better care for a patient, it can be made almost instantaneously. Yeah, well, certainly here at the Consumer Electronics Show and here in the Digital Health Summit and this digital health area, the notion of being able to monitor patients remotely with inexpensive wearable type devices is becoming highly prevalent. So I can see how that would fit into this hospital at home uh, uh, solution. So what do you see as the evolution of this? When will we have a, a general hospital at home so we don't have to build any more hospitals? You know, I think it was a great surprise to a lot of people yesterday as the experts talked about this. You know, the um, availability of internet bandwidth has clearly enabled this um, to happen, as well as the number of devices and wearables and so on, the remote monitoring uh, technology that's made it possible. However, surprisingly enough, the future doesn't lie with technology in their view. Uh, the future uh, lies in leadership in broadly based in the healthcare system and in changes in policy that will enable this, principally through reimbursement. So the companies are very interested in scaling and making this available to more people, but, uh, and, and they clearly are studying all the newer technologies that are emerging to help and enable that. But what they stressed yesterday is that it's gonna require leadership and changes in policy. No, I understand. I mean, we do some things in the hospital. Some things are done, as they always say, if they tell you it's not about the money, it's all about the money. So uh, clearly that has to be worked out because today the notion of reimbursement and payment for hospitalized patients is well understood. This is a new paradigm and will take some innovative leadership, as you said. Well, there are leading hospitals that are very interested. There are also hospitals that are um, uh, overburdened because they got too many patients. The patients are in hallways, so the opportunity to move those patients or some patients home to make way for others in beds is, is important. And it costs about $2 million to capitalize a hospital bed. So the leadership within the hospital community understands this and sees that this is an option, a way to go. And it really is good for the future for everybody. Well, I look forward to seeing the, reading the studies and, and seeing this grow. So thank you. Again, Glenna Crooks, uh, and this is Dr. David Albert from the Digital Health Summit here at CES 2019 and hosted by Living in Digital Times.